Recordology. Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. I'm super excited about this show. And somebody had asked me recently, they said, are you now shooting new shows or are these still shows you pre-filmed before you went to Texas last week? The answer is, so far they've been the pre-canned shows until today. In fact, I have one more, but wait, rather than wait to kick that out before I did this video, I wanted to do this video first so that the individual in question didn't think that I was putting it off. I just haven't had a chance to go over to the mailbox and check it until today. And when I did, I found a surprise. So that brings up another topic. I want to give shout outs to people that want them, but I don't want to you know, say the name of somebody that doesn't want their name said. So I'm going to do this. If you include your username, your YouTube channel name, then I'll assume you want the shout out. If it's just your personal name, then I'll keep it private. And I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Unless you just say, hey, give me a shout out because I'm happy to do that. So I opened it and we saw there was a key in there and the key means that there's something exciting. And sure enough, this was in one of the drop boxes and oh, this looks fun. Mighty Music Mailer, Bags Unlimited. This is cool. And it's interesting, this is quite a bit longer on one, this is longer this way. It's not completely square, that's what I'm trying to say. So I have no idea what this is. This is totally a kid on Christmas morning for me. I know, I just love it. By the way, if you want to send us records for review or for whatever, you know, you feel free to do that. The PO box is down below. I love that so much. I never expect anybody to do that, but at the same time, it sure is fun. <laughs> it sure is fun. So I am so, thank you in advance for whoever this was. I know who it was, but um, to you and uh, I'm just so appreciative. So let's go ahead and it looks like I can just open it up here. I decided to do the opening on camera. I think that makes more sense. Last time I pre-opened it and I was like, well, kind of spoiled it for the show, but all right. Let's go ahead and see what we got. I have no idea what could be in here. All right, guys, big reveal, big reveal. In fact, let me go wide. Okay. What is in here? Oops really packed tight really well packed which is good holy cow boy howdy is it in there good and i'm just going to pull the actual record out i think that might be the best way to do it good night oh my gosh what is this <gasps> no are you serious glenn miller original and we're going to give this a sound test, too. I don't have this. What on earth? Glenn Miller Originals, Chattanooga Choo Choo, limited edition RCA Victor. Look at this, PR 114. This is new to me. Really cool, 1962 release. Wow. Look at this. Exclusively prepared for by Salada Foods Incorporated. That is unique. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Salada Foods? What? Oh, this is so cool. I have never, ever seen this before. Let's look inside. Looks like we, the person took the energy to upgrade the sleeve to a higher end one. It looks like there's something still in here, though. So let's see what we got. There's the original sleeve in there, maybe. Or just an extra sleeve. And the letter. Let me see if this is for public consumption, guys. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so I need to read this, and I thank you very much in advance. Um, I, I I really appreciate this. It says Detroit Star, so that that's perhaps the username. I'm not 100% sure. I want to make sure. I don't want to say your name if you don't want it said. So. Anyway, thank you so much. Let's look at the record. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, the label is cool. I don't think I've seen this one before. Why am I doing it off camera? Look at this. Oh, look at the length of that track. Oh, is that the Chattanooga Choo Choo from the movie? I think that must be. Look how, look how long that track is. That is phenomenal. Oh, this is super exciting, you guys. And look at that label. Look at that label. There is a record store here. 
that I visited a couple of weeks ago and I didn't say anything about it and I didn't film up there because they weren't the friendliest, honestly. Um, but the lady up there said that her family was um, uh, Berlinger, whatever, I forget the name off the top of my head, but basically the inventor of the gramophone and that their family actually had the nipper dog. And she told me a little bit about the history of it, but look at this. That is so cool. This is this is totally unique. I've never seen anything like this. What's on this side that's so long? I've got a gallon Kalamazoo, which is also the movie track is super long. And here's why it's super long. Interesting little bit of trivia, at least I think it's interesting. Um, both of those songs include dance sequences by the Nicholas Brothers, who were African American. And this is so sad and pathetic, but uh, theater owners in the South refused to show films where African American actors and performers were on screen with white performers, which is kind of, not kind of, it's extremely ridiculous. And I'm thinking very impossible. Like, how, it's just stupid. All that stuff is stupid. So, what they did was they filmed these segments with. Uh, uh, a delineation point where there the the try, what am I trying to say? The the song goes from start to finish as an instrumental, and then it starts up again with the dance sequence featuring uh, the Nicholas Brothers, who are phenomenal. Like even uh, Fred's Fred Sinatra, who is that? Fred Astaire said that they were, you know, just incredibly talented, incredibly talented. So, yeah, one has uh, the Nicholas Brothers, the other has uh, Dorothy Dandridge and the Nicholas Brothers. So they would have the song be extra long so that it went through it instrumentally once and then went through it again with the dance sequence and the singing, which is ridiculous because the idea is they would trim off that segment for the, uh, the audiences in the South. But what we get in turn, for those of us that are interested in the full version, of course, is this amazing, amazing version of the song. So I am super excited to listen to this. So let me get it on a turntable and we'll give it a listen. Okay, so I read the letter. Detroit Stars is the username. Thank you so very much. And great job on the research you already did on this. That's awesome. I want to dig into it a little bit more myself because it's just bizarre. Salada Foods? What did you say you thought it might be? Salada Tea? I don't think I've even heard of that. So very, very cool. And yes, I did confirm by looking at the liner notes on the back that this these two long tracks on the on both sides are definitely from the movie now what's exciting for glenn miller aficionados is these the recordings that the glenn miller orchestra made in hollywood uh are the highest fidelity highest quality recordings that they this the uh, glenn miller civilian band ever made the army ones made later completely different story um use some different techniques in there they're higher than the original civilian recordings. But the civilian band did go into the Fox Studios uh, in Hollywood two times to make two different films, Sun Valley Serenade and Orchestra Wives, and in so doing recorded what was their highest fidelity audio. Why did they do it that way? Well, movie studios recorded on optical film. So rather than, you know, a lathe cutting wax, these songs were the, the two long ones on here, Kalamazoo and, and Chattanooga Choo Choo, were were recorded on optical film so and what's even more is they did it in such a way that there was different um uh, mics that were picked up in different angled angle mics is what they call them and they were able you can actually reconstruct uh stereo from those angle mics so which is kind of cool all right let's go ahead and start at the beginning here i'm gonna be limited on what i can play for copyright purposes but i want to uh i want to drop the needle a few times on this so Detroit Stars, thank you so much. What a what a thoughtful gift. And you know, rather than start at the beginning, let's go near the end a little bit. When the Nicholas Brothers, which side is it? Okay, it's Chattanooga. So this will be the marvelous Nicholas Brothers and um, Dorothy Dandridge. So let's go ahead and check it out here. forward a little bit I'll drop it a couple different places why is my right speaker the only one that's working right now hold on a second do I have I've had this happen this has happened to me a couple times today and it wasn't just 
I'm using a mono microphone right now, so it really doesn't matter for the video, but I need to figure that out. Okay, let's drop a few more places here. The bass is amazing. It's amazing bass. It's amazing bass. And in contrast, here is a studio RCA Victor recording in contrast. So it's uh, fairly typical of 60s mixes. By the way, the fidelity, you can tell on that, is not as good as the first song. But it's interesting. It was pretty common. It sounds like they're using reprocessed stereo on some of this, which is very common. Some people freak out about that. I don't mind it. I think it's kind of a neat... I mean, there's so much Miller material out there that it's cool to have some different versions. So I'm, I'm like all about it. Like, let's totally go for it. That's dripping with reverb, which I think is kind of cool. I just got word from a guy who heard from the guy next door to me. Now, I watch YouTube channels where the person is a fan of something that I'm not, and I know that's the case with a lot of you and Glenn Miller. But I, it's really gratifying when some people reach out and they're like, "Hey, you know what? I never, I never really thought about Glenn Miller, but I've, I've been listening to it because of your channel." And uh, like this particular individual reached out and sent me a record he came across. I think he found this at a Goodwill, which is so cool. Yeah, a Goodwill scouting trip. It just, that's so gratifying to share. And I've learned a lot of musical artists from other people as well. Like uh, Peter, a.k.a. Fardemark, totally got me going on the um, One Stormy Night records, which I would have never checked out if it hadn't been for that recommendation. Cool. So I don't want to make the video too long. I don't want to make the video too long, but I wanted to I wanted to sample it a few times. I'm going to be listening to it in depth, of course, once I figure out why my left speaker isn't making sound at the moment. And again, it's just a huge thank you to Detroit Stars and to each and every one of you. I don't expect anybody to send me anything. So when that happens, I just triply blessed and I want to say thank you for your time and watching these videos, sitting through the ads helping to support the channel just by being there. I appreciate you guys so very, very, very much. So we got one more canned show for tomorrow, and then we're going to start on some new content. As I pivot around in my chair here, I see three boxes on the floor of new product to review. So we got some new content in terms of product to review, which I'm excited to share. And at least one of them is a turntable. So we're going to have fun with that. But that's going to do it for now, guys. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.